Too late now to have any more sex. That period in my life is now an X. The culprit, of course, is old age, causing me in life's book to turn the page. I'm impotent, but I'm also a sage. My old cock is docile in its cage. So pity me, you young folks. I no longer produce those powerful pokes. They're reduced to a series of jokes. Boy, what a poem. <laughs> well, everybody talks about the current time in his life. So that my current uh, time in my life is eking out into death. So uh, I'm pre-death. And so uh, in my nervousness and apprehension, I've got to bolster my courage. So writing things down and spelling them out uh, may uh, somehow reconcile me with my horrible faith ahead. Faith? No, faith. Yeah, right. I'm living myself out of life. Soon I'll run out of time, and in turn, time romps away from me at an equestrian pace. Dying is the darkness doom that neatly prepares nobody's tomb. All this, I know, it's very death-pronounced and lopsided. Um, and I guess I have, the, it's, it's the product of this miserable period uh, of having fun while old, old age is incapacitated me, me from having fun. If you look at it from a certain viewpoint, we need to make room in, for, for new people. So evolution clears old people away so that new people can come along with their new gadgets and new improvisations of mechanical instruments. And now I've recently got a renaissance of being rediscovered. So there are reprint of publications that are reprinting books from the 1970s. Some were plays, some were novels, some were essays, uh, some were humor pieces, uh, some were poems. So it, it, it varies, so I have no real uh, tag after my name. So I'm kind of lost in the scattering and a smattering of uh, little books that have not r realized fame even for 15 minutes. But that's okay because I, I'm, I'm happily married and I'm reconciled to impending death. I'm, I'm, I'm married uh, happily uh, to sweet fantasy. She is religious, but I, I, I manage to uh, be happy anyway because you can put up with something. She doesn't force her religion on me, even though in the language of Brooklyn it, it comes voice for her. Um, eternity, infinity, uh, those are uh, big words and often they convey meaninglessness. Death is supreme. To defy it, religion tries to weave its holy magic, but death is firm in its reality and poor religion is left gasping at the gate. Boy, that, that's pessimistic. I guess I might, must have had spiritual impulses because I felt somehow one with everything. Just like sometimes I approach a hot dog vendor and he said, how would you like it? And I would say, make me one with everything. And I relish saying that. I catch up on, on, on my jokes. Okay. Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn uh, not far from Coney Island. Well, for me, it was a little different because at the age of three, uh, I, I, I got hard of hearing that there was um, diseases in my ear. A poor, uh, my mother and father kind of seemed like strangers, um, and I didn't get much guidance. And then uh, I wasn't in the same wavelength or drum beat as other people because uh, they followed what they heard, and I didn't hear it. So I was kind of an art boy. So I was lonely, yeah. So, so I felt somehow that I was uncompoundable. Uh, and um, I felt that uh, uh, maybe I'm too hard to marry. And one way I managed 
to not be isolated from people was uh, humor and comedy, seeing things at odd angles, uh, analogies and metaphors, and that other people would uh, be interested in that. Uh, I won them over by making jokes, and that way they would acknowledge me as uh, somebody to be entertained by. I grew up but lived so full of life by the mechanical count of mere years that now, longevity survivor, my body falls into a preparation for death, and not my own fault, but I have to go. My brain has cooled down and I'm drugged. My verbalized thinking enters a feeble stage, and having known many people, I drift away, escorted by the blunt hand of pain. Sorry, sorry, but I was um, uh, ultra romantic and I tended to uh, fall in love too easily, uh, whereas um, the women uh, acted as if I were too needy. And so uh, if I had only been more aloof, uh, then I, I would have gotten more women. Because that was the age of the se sexual revolution. Um, and, and actually, I would call it an evolution. Oh, what, oh there's a squirrel with a nut. Oh, ever since I got older, older, and older, so now I'm, I'm such an old man that uh, y younger people look through me and past me as if I don't exist. Because they don't want to be reminded of what's in store for them, so they better leave me alone. Live it up, uh, have fun, and um, snarl with some sarcasm and uh, be sadistic, not, not sadistic, sarcastic. And, and so, somehow live it and lump it. If, you, if, you, if you're gonna be old, you might as well be old. If you get impotent and, uh, and there's no chance for you with, with, with a lady that you may encounter, uh, then uh, be sad and have nostalgia for the good old days when you were able to get a girl. Human, that's what we are. No other way we could have been born. Give me examples, for instance. Well, the generalities pile up and the specifics are too numerous. People tell their stories and look for the listeners. The listeners and the tellers are what we principally are. So I do what I can. And so life is a sweetheart. You still embrace it for all that's left of you and left of us.